Hey, what's going on guys? It's Victor from Cyborg for Life. And today I wanna to talk about some of the supplements you can take to help expedite the recovery after limb lengthening surgery or any other orthopedic procedure for that matter. Now, even though I provide a medical disclaimer at the bottom of each video, I thought I'd say it since this topic is a little bit dicey. And that is before you take anything that I talk about or recommend, make sure you speak to your doctor or limb lengthening surgeon first. All right, so with that said, um, after surgery, you have two main goals. One is to heal your bones, and two is to help speed up the recovery of your soft tissues uh, during your lengthening phase and after physical therapy sessions, all right? And the best way to figure out what supplements you need to take besides the pain meds you're gonna be prescribed is to basically ask yourself, what are each of these aspects made up of? So bones are made up of one-third water, one-third collagen, and then one-third of minerals. Okay, and then your soft tissues like your muscles, your ligaments, your tendons, and then everything else is made up of uh, two thirds water and then one third collagen, elastin, lipids, and so on. So let's not make it complicated, let's just give it the raw materials that it wants. Um, but before you do anything with supplements, you always wanna make sure you're optimizing your nutrition and focusing on a well-balanced diet, just like your doctor tells you to. Um, but that's no fun, right? Because <laughs> nowadays everybody likes popping magic pills, so that's what we're here to talk about. Um, but before I you know, begin, I wanna make sure that you understand that there's levels to this and um, I'm gonna start with the uh, most important to work up to the least important, okay? And um, so for bones, we know what water is. We're gonna get to collagen soon. But for the minerals, bones are composed of about 50% uh, calcium, uh, about 40% phosphorus, and then just over a percent of magnesium, okay? And then you have things like silicon, iron, and then a smaller percentage of trace minerals, okay? Now, level one, which is the most important level of supplements that I think that are helpful, um, is gonna be your multivitamin, okay? And this is gonna cover most of your bases alongside your good diet, all right? And I mo recommend a whole food multivitamin, one that's kind of like extracted the nutrients of whole food, because you're gonna just get more bioavailability and absorption. Um, then you're gonna want some calcium, some form of calcium, because that is a mineral that's a heavy percentage of bone make matrix. Um, now, if you get the form of carbonate, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you take it with some sort of food as it needs stomach acid to dissolve. Otherwise, the citrate form or the orotate form or the MCHA form are really good. Uh, they have really good bioavailability. Um, and take at least 1,000 milligrams a day, okay? Now, vitamin D3, a super, super important uh, component of bone. Um, it really helps with the absorption and retention of calcium. And if your doctor didn't prescribe you something like Deltius, which is a really high concentrated, potent form of vitamin D3, then you know I recommend something like five to 10,000 IUs a day during your lengthening and uh, consolidation process. Um, it's what I did. You know I had vitamin D on tap like a boss, and it really helped me recover. And it also helps with testosterone too. So. But you can make your life simple and take an all-in-one supplement, something like Bone Maximizer 3, which is a bone complex. It has, um, it's basically derived from MCHA, which is microcrystalline hydroxyapatite. And um, it's basically the type of composition that comes from bone matrix. So you're actually kind of feeding your bone bone. Um, okay, and it has calcium in it, vitamin D, has vitamin K, it has all the stuff that you're gonna need for you know healthy bones. So I recommend that product, you know, big time. All right, then it comes level two. Now, level two are primarily collagen um, synthesizing supplements, things like vitamin C, all right? Besides keeping your immune system and you healthy, it can also help with collagen synthesis, and um, it's a really, really big component. I take, you know, anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500 milligrams per day. Any extra your body will get rid of, so don't worry about it, but it's always really good to have extra vitamin C on tap. Then you have things like collagen itself. And, um, you know, this is basically going to be helping with your bone, your skin, your joints, your muscles, everything, okay? And research shows that the best form is hydrolyzed wild-caught marine collagen over the lesser forms of bovine or chicken collagen, okay? In fact, I think it said it was like up to 1.5 times more, you know, bioavailable than the other forms, okay? Then you have bone broth or bone meal, which are also great sources for optimizing raw materials for healing also. Um, then we have level three. Now these are gonna be mainly for joint integrity, reducing inflammation as you do physical therapy and whatnot. You have MSM, methyl sulfonyl methane, okay? This is a phenomenal anti-inflammatory, um, also a joint lubricant. Um, then you have glucosamine and chondroitin, which you know kind of works with MSM to give you that really nice um, intact joint, um, such as the knees if you're getting tibial lengthening, or the hips at the when they insert the nail at the greater trochanter if you're doing internal lengthening. Um, 
And uh, yeah, so, you know, I love that stuff. Then you have curcumin, which is the active ingredient in turmeric. Fantastic stuff for antiseptic effects as well as anti-inflammatory. Um, and then you have fish oil now, or essential fatty acid. I do not recommend you take this during distraction because it does have a little bit of a blood thinning effect um, and you're gonna already be on a blood thinner so you don't have clotting during your, your distraction. So definitely, definitely, definitely don't take fish oil and just check with your doctor for all these things anyway. Um, oh, and I do wanna mention that you wanna focus on a lower carb diet, okay, because, or at least a lower sugar diet um, because that will help keep inflammation, you know, reduced as well. Um, and guys, look, I know a lot of people are worried about losing weight and they're like, I gotta pile the food down. You wanna eat, you, you want to eat enough food, but you want to eat enough healthy food, all right? The goal is to heal your bones and heal so you can get back to normal life. You don't want to just pile down junk food just to hold your weight up. You can get your weight up later. You want to focus on healthy, nutrient-dense nutrient dense foods so you can heal your bones, heal your soft tissues, and get back, okay? So don't just gulge down tons of candy and all this junk food. Um, you can have some of that, but definitely focus on the majority of your diet is gonna be more clean foods if you wanna get back, um, all right? Now, um, you can take an all-in-one product for the joints. Uh, it's called Animal Flex. I take it for my heavy lifting. It works wonders. Um, it comes in a can container and it has like these packs in it. You can just open up the pills. If you're not a pill swallower, they have a powder form too, which comes with collagen. And um, I always love taking a, uh, a bioavailability uh, pill with it called Bioparine, which is black pepper extract. Really, really good way to kind of enhance the nutrient absorption of all of these supplements. So I always pop that like, you know, with my supplements three times a day during my lengthening phase. What else are you gonna be doing, <laughs> all right? All right, and then finally is level four, which is gonna be, you know, the, I guess, miscellaneous type supplements. Things like ZMA, which is really good actually for bone healing, um, but you already got that with the other stuff. But zinc, magnesium, aspartate, aspartic acid, which is not only great for bone health, but it also helps with deep recuperating sleep, optimizing your hormone profile, and, um, you know, especially testosterone for guys who are worried about losing muscle mass. And then you have, you know, protein. So besides eating foods like meat, fish, dairy, nuts, um, you can actually add in protein shakes, which help supplement your diet. And um, I can't tell you how helpful it is to have enough protein when you're doing physical therapy, okay? Or doing at-home exercises, okay? Because the soft tissues is two-thirds of the battle. And your muscles is two-thirds of the soft tissues. And muscle loves protein, so feed it what it wants, okay? Now, you definitely wanna focus on whey protein. It's the best form of protein shake you can possibly get. And focus on getting one with a lactase enzyme because because a lot of people think that they're lactose intolerant. I mean, you know, they can handle lactose, but they really can't. They're lactose intolerant. And if you can't digest it, you can't absorb it, all right? And then finally, I recommend creatine. And I recommend this for retaining muscle mass while you're down and out as it also helps with energy levels, ATP levels. So for those hard, grueling, rigorous PT sessions, it's gonna help with that big time, okay? Now I can go on and on, but this is a solid list of supplements you could take to help enhance the healing and recovery process during your leg lengthening procedure. Um, and obviously taking supplements is great. However, nothing really beats rest and time, okay? So work hard at your PT and be patient, okay? And you'll be fine on the other side. All right, guys, that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. And until next time, this is Victor from Cyborg for Life, signing out. Peace.